So we did have pretty good export numbers for February. I would say these came in better than people were thinking. Uh, cheese especially, 28% higher year over year. Uh, we were really cheap, if you remember, back in December and January. So I think we got a little bit on the books for February, but I'm guessing March will be lower and then maybe April's higher again. So we might have kind of kind of a a little uh, you know zigzag month to month in uh, exports. Uh, on, on the cheese side and that's that's what's creating kind of this yo-yo in the spot where we see you know this these moves down to a dollar 40 then we pop back higher to a dollar 60 um but overall a little bit better than expected on total solids uh exported in february you can see cheese uh 20 percent higher that's year to date uh butter's still you know not very good skim skim milk powder's down uh, dry way down a little bit. Modified or WPC is up. Uh, it's interesting to see what, you know who which buyers are stepping up. So Mexico, this is a heck of a good number, right? For February, um, this really blows all the other month or all the other prior years. You know, we're almost double the prior years. Um, so that's a really good number for Mexico. Uh, Japan a little bit higher. South Korea down, other a little bit higher. So for the longest time, you know, last year, we were struggling to get business with Japan and South Korea. So it's good to see these getting a little more normal, um, you know, losing less market share to Europe, possibly. And then for dairy products, um, you know, we're seeing actually a lot of production go away from cheddar. Uh, in the month of January and February. Um, but overall, cheese production has been been down a little bit. Um, and in terms of powder stocks, we're seeing a little bit of a build in way, I think, because we got a little bit out of line with Europe. But overall, we've kind of drawn down powder stocks in the last year or so. Um, but overall, I think way is, is going to be in, it's going to be tough the next few months, just given what's happened in Europe. I, I, I don't really know about the, you know, later in the year, I think we could see a rebound, but in the short term, it's, it's going to be difficult with European way trading, you know, 31, 32 cents a pound. Uh, our markets, there's no way in heck they can sustain 50 cents, you know, in the, in that kind of environment with, with world competition that much cheaper. Uh, if you look at rolling, um, you know, big five exporter milk production, you can see we've really been sideways the last few years. This data point, I think, is Europe is kind of not fully reported. But uh, in general, we're just seeing just really sluggish growth um, internationally. Just, just you know, we haven't grown really at all. It's just been kind of sideways. Um, but the demand side hasn't been strong either. So normally if we saw, you know, trend demand and we have milk production sideways like this, we'd see higher prices, right? But we're just, we're, we're overall in kind of a weaker demand environment. Uh, you can see this is the year over year. We don't have Europe's, all of Europe's numbers, but Europe's been, you know, kind of flat to down a little bit in January. Australia... You know, New Zealand seeing a little bit of growth in February, but, you know, overall just very subdued uh, growth 